So Sora, Forrester has recently published a detailed paper on CRQ. Do you feel security executives should make a note of it? And if yes, I would like to understand why. Yeah, great question. Um, even before we go there, right? You know about what has happened with Uber. You know the, the kind of hacks we are seeing left, right, and center. All these large consulting companies like Forrester, they've been evangelizing the idea of CRQ. So CRQ is nothing but cyber risk quantification, right? They've been talking about it for a while. Really large companies have been thinking about and discussing it at a scale as well. But why is it important? I'll give you four points. One, it gives you a methodology on how do you tackle it, right? Once you've been breached, once there is fire all over the place, it's a complete reset for security. But for other organizations, for them to beef up their security, they need a method on how they go about building their security posture, right? So CRQ or cyber risk quantification gives you that methodology. How does it do that? Number two is it puts dollar value to each risk. It helps you a certain what risk your organization has, how much potential dollar value loss it could bring to your organization and helps you prioritize those risks, right? Um, Then you can build your initiatives, then you can make investments because you want to go to the board and say, guys, this is how we are reducing the risk, right? The third thing is again tied to this is communication, right? Um, We've always seen security initiatives being very techy in nature, um, but since it's become stable stakes now, you want to communicate this to the senior leadership in a very business friendly term. You should be able to talk about dollar values. You should be able to talk about risk. You should be able to talk about business impact. So that that is the language which CRQ gives you. And lastly, because shareholders and lawmakers and privacy laws have become so, so important in the last five to seven years, CRQ also helps you address those challenges, right? They It helps you take those into account. And, and you can actually communicate much more clearly to st- stakeholders, to your shareholders, as well as you can start addressing some of those privacy concerns also using the CRQ method. So that's why it's extremely important that organizations take that into account and start building a CRQ practice within as part of the security practice.